Hello, in this session, we are going to look at Terraform lifecycle or the Terraform workflow that we have uh, whenever we want to create the resources on AWS. So um, generally, whenever we are looking at creating the resources using Terraform, Terraform follows a workflow or a lifecycle to create the resources where we write the code, then we can validate the code, we can generate a plan, we can create those resources and then finally, if we don't want the resources, we can go ahead and destroy those resources. Once again, before we start off with the session, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get started with this. So Terraform core workflow, it consists of different different uh, stages or the lifecycle stages that we can use to manage the resources that, can, that we create on various cloud platforms. Now, the core workflow or the lifecycle, it consists of the init stage, then we have the validate stage, plan stage, apply stage, show stage, and the destroy stage. So this is the flow it goes. So these stages, they're executed as commands. So each of these stage, uh, we will be executing them as commands. For example, Terraform init, Terraform validate, and then so on. So whenever we want to call the specific stage or the life cycle, we pass the respective commands which will execute the operations. So we begin with the Terraform init. So if you're writing the code for the first time, you'll have to first initialize the code. Once you're done initializing the code, we can validate the code to make sure we don't have any syntactical error. Post that, we generate a plan. After that, we do the apply, which will create the resources for us. Then we can use this show, which will uh, show the state file or the resources that Terraform has created. And then finally, at any point, if you don't want the resources, we can go ahead and destroy the resources. So this is the workflow or this is the life cycle that we have generally when we talk about the resources that we are going to create on Terraform. So once again, we initialize the code, we validate the code, we plan the code, we apply the code, and then we look at the resources. And at any point, we don't want the resources, we go ahead and destroy. Now, we will be looking at each of these stage one by one. So first, in this session, we will look at your Terraform init stage. So the Terraform init, so to initialize your code, we use this command Terraform init. Now what this command basically does is initialize our working directory where we have written the Terraform configuration files or the Terraform code. So for this, we use the Terraform init command. So like I already said, this is the first command that we should be running whenever we are writing a new configuration file or we are writing a new Terraform code or if you are cloning an existing uh, Terraform code from the version control. So if the code is new on your machine, the first thing you have to do is initialize so that Terraform will download the necessary plugins to create the resources for us. However, it is completely safe to run this command multiple times. For example, let's say you have done some module changes, some changes in your module block. So you can run this command again and again and again. All this will do is this will just refresh your working directory. Now, when you run this command, like I said, Terraform will download all the necessary plugins that are required uh, to execute the Terraform code and create the resources for us. So here I have my server and we are going to create the main.tf file. And let me quickly write the code so we are going to use the aws provider my region is going to be us east one now for this uh, i have already attached an iam role to the instance i'm not going to give any authentication information we'll define the resource block so i'm going to launch an aws instance and let's call this as example instance we'll give the instance type sorry instance type as t2.micro and then we'll give the ami now um, here if you look at the indentations and everything now terraform does not really have any such requirement this is mainly for the readability purpose so here if you see this equal to and the equal to i'm trying to align them now this is only for the readability purpose uh, terraform is not really worried about this 
uh, it's not necessary that you have to do this uh, terraform will completely understand the code even without this but this is from a reader's perspective uh, just so it's easier for us, to, for us to understand the code looks clean we do this so here i'm going to give the ami for the ec2 instance so here i have one of the instance let me take the ami from here and we'll give the ami and i'll close the resource block so this is a new code that we have written so the first thing we will have to do is we have to run the terraform init command so what this will do uh, is okay i'm missing something uh let me see okay sorry so this should be open and let's run this command once again so what this will do is this will simply download the plugin the provider plugin so here you can see initializing the uh, backend initializing provider plugins finding the latest version of hashicorp aws so we have given the provider as aws and it will download the latest version and store it on our local machine so here if you look at the code this will create a new folder with the name dot terraform we'll talk about this log file later on uh, but this is where the plugins are stored so here if i go to this folder uh, you should be able to see the provider so if you have multiple providers all the plugins will be available here so this is where it is downloading it from the registry terraform.io and here hashicorp is the vendor and we are looking at aws provider and the version so this is the latest version we have and uh, this is the os and then here is the plugin so this is what terraform uses to create or execute the code and create the resources for us so at any point uh, when you write the code for the first time you'll have to initialize or if you modify the code or uh, make some necessary changes you may want to initialize the code once again so that terraform will download all the necessary plugins and it can start uh, executing the code for us so this is what your initialization stage is where we can make use of this terraform init command to initialize the terraform code that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video.